Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to try this one. So how to unfold a curved geometry in Revit. So this is a this uh, this part is a curved geometry. And what we're going to try today is we're going to model this family. So which you see you can adjust the curve of uh, this this part and still keep the length of everything. Okay, just like bending uh, this um, this metal or whatever. Oh, that's, that's very cool. Okay, so let's let's do it. Okay, so first uh, we're going to model this family. Use the ge uh, generic model template. And first, I'm going to draw some reference line. Okay, so from here and uh, another one, maybe here and another arc. Okay. So this this uh, these are the reference line we're going to. So this is the shape of that model. And then first, let's create some dimension and also some uh, parameters. So first, this this is the length. I'm going to create this instance parameter for the length of this reference line. And this one will be let's call this uh, L L3 because um, we're going to have another one L2 for this arc, the length of the arc, so which is this. Okay, so for this arc, uh, so we can add a radius parameter. Okay, so and I'll call it R instance and OK. And then another one, so we're going to control the, um, the if I do a dimension DI, so which is this one arc length. So, um, so but once uh, you will notice that we won't be able to place this one on here. Um, not sure why. <laughs> uh, but if we copy this one away from the other two uh, reference line, and we can then select this and click on this. So this will give us the. So it's actually. Um, the ang the angle 180 degree okay so um, okay so let's have a look and then yeah of course add a radius parameter and I'll just link this to the R and then what I'm going to do is I'll delete this and bring this back here and then click on this so toggle join tangency so now this these reference lines are all set so if i go to family types uh, i think i missed something here oh this one so let's create so it's it's called i think when i do dimension it's called arc length so it's more more an angle so maybe I'll just call it create a parameter let's call it an a for angle okay so instance and okay so now if I go to family types um, we can control this shape by uh, tr adjusting adjusting these okay so let's try L1 uh, 900 which is this okay L3 uh, let's try 600 this uh, R radius so 300 okay this a so if I change to 900 oh sorry 90 so it will go straight up so now let me click OK uh, let me try TL yeah that's better so I'm going to do a screenshot of this one. So now we we need to try to bend this. Okay, so now currently it's this. Okay, so let's go straight up. So this is the arc. And when we bend this one, the R will change. 
Okay, so so for example, if I we ban this one back to this direction, so it will not become this. So the R will become smaller. So it will be something like this. R. So this is R, and the length of this one will uh, equals this one. Equals from here to here. Okay, from here to here and here to here. So these two. Uh, the length of these two arcs are the same. So now what we need to do is we need to work out the relationship between this R radius and this one, and A. Okay, equals times A. a. So, or actually, um, I think it's easier to do it this way. So A equals times r because it's easier to use the a to control the shape so for example i want this one to be 90 degrees so and then i can just um oh hell the other way around sorry about that so we want to input a so which we're going to use this one okay so use a to control the r so let's do it. So go back to Revit and we need, so first we need to, um, we need to add a parameter. So that parameter is the length of this arc. Okay, so let's go create a new L2 instance length parameter. All good, click OK. So I'll just uh, for now I'll just type in 500, and then we need to work out. So let's bring this back. We need to work out what this question mark is. Okay. So now let's draw a circle. So we know that in a circle, if this is the R, to work out the diameter equals 2 times pi times r okay and then in this situation so this angle this is actually if if i use a so this a divided by 360 which is a circle this will give us a percentage of d for example this one if this uh, we were calculating this arc, so this is a 90 degree divided by 360, which is uh, 25 percent, okay, or one fourth. And then we just need to, if once we work under the d, we times one fourth, and then we can get um, the length. So now, if well, I can continue this, so d, um, if I times times this one, a divided by 360 so we can get instead of get a d we can get uh, at l l2 l2 okay so this is the one and then from this one we can work out this so what we need we need to work out the r so first let me just uh, times 360 on both sides and then R, we just need to divide by divide both sides by this one and also this one so we can get uh, which means it, uh, this side is R equals and then 2 times pi times A and also 360 times L2 so this is the formula and this is the question mark here. So now we just need to tie, uh, um, yeah, and then of course we don't need this one. So we just, yeah, only this, the whole <laughs> formula is here. So equals R. So now we can just type in this one into that, into here. Okay, so let me do it. So 360 times. L2 divided by bracket 2 times pi times 
pi pi brackets times a bracket so this is it so now if I click on apply all good and then I so this is L2 L2 equals 500 let's check select this arc 500 and then if I if I change so for example if I change this to 180 so it should become something like this so reduced R yeah in 180 um, to make it easier for you to see this um, I'm going to draw two reference line here okay so di angular and apply that um, a to it now let's try so you will see oh hang on. so it seems uh, we need to align lock align lock try again so now you will see that's it and we can still um, adjust the, so the the length of each individual so line so for example I'll draw another reference line here here just to demonstrate okay so in um, when you do a actual model you probably don't you won't need this but this is only for demonstration so I'll just use this one to this this L2 so L3 L2 L1 so now you will see okay we can so this is just angles it's the same if you do it here okay typing but this is much faster so you can adjust the length of this length of so this is the length of the arc and this is the length of l1 okay so now of course we can create a sweep onto these reference lines just add a profile oops finish now let's go back to floor plan change to shade sd so now it's a geometry let me change the scale a little bit so still yeah you can change this change this so make it make it bigger oops yeah okay so that's it um i'm going to give you a little um, homework to do okay so because when we um, it will work you know all these angles even like this but when you when you rotate this one to here so you'll see when this one become flat so the whole thing should become a straight uh, geometry this is for you how can we control use formula to make it work so which means when we uh, type in angle so which type in so so if it's one still okay oh yeah uh, what's going on? A degree one two doesn't work. Oh, I think because I have this one, maybe I'll just delete this. And now let's change again. Oh, sorry, not one. I think it's one eighty or one eighty. It's good ninety degree. Good to yeah. So it works because um, previously we had. Uh, maybe I'll just delete these things okay so now two degrees still okay one degree is still okay but if I type in zero it won't work because um, the zero degree will go here so homework today 
how can we make it work at zero degree for this one? Still, we have a geometry straight with the lens plus uh, L1 plus L2 plus L3. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.